Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I budget, but not only how I budget, I'm going to be showing you why I budget, my Notion budget template, and then also my budgeting process. I'm very passionate about planning and about budgeting, so I'm very excited to share this with you today. This like budget routine that I do during my payday has really helped me be more in control of my money and feel secure about where I'm spending my money. So I hope that if you're watching this not only for entertainment purposes but also for educational purposes that it also helps you if you're budgeting in your payday routine to feel a little bit more at ease when you get paid and managing your personal finances. I graduated uni last year and that was when I became fully financially self-sufficient away from my parents so I'm paying everything for myself now. Um, which I'm really grateful that I am able to. And I also want to say I'm using the word financially self-sufficient and not like financially free or like financial freedom because at the moment I'm being able to save, but I wouldn't say I'm saving this like huge amount, you know, I am young, but I just wanted to give a little bit of background so you know why I'm budgeting and why I choose to spend the way that I do. So without further ado, let's get started. So like I mentioned, before getting into how I budget, I wanted to share why I budget. Essentially, the reason why I choose to budget is just so I can feel more in control of my money and in control of my spending. Personal finances can be extremely hard to manage if not done correctly. And it's also a very personal thing, it is your, your own finances. So take everything I'm saying here and apply it to your own way of budgeting and taking care of your money however you want. Because there's so many right ways to manage your money and a lot of it is going to be dependent on your situation and on your income, how often you get paid, where you live. There's so much that comes into account when managing personal finances. So again, this video is just how I budget. Just keep, bear that in mind for the rest of this video. I like to budget because it really helps me feel more in control. It allows me to know exactly where my money is going and also it allows me to be able to save with a little bit more ease for things that I want because if let's say I'm really specifically saving for one thing that I want budgeting what might allow me to spend a little bit less on things that I don't need for example, if I'm eating out at like restaurants I might not need to eat out, especially if I'm trying to save for something that's quite big but if I'm not careful about how often I'm going out and how, like how much I'm allocating money to go out and eat I will most, more than likely overspend and then not be able to get what I really want but essentially budgeting for me just helps not have careless spending throughout the month because I do get paid on a month by month basis. It just means that when you get paid, you get paid like a larger amount because it's now it's a whole month's pay. And then if you're not careful about allocating that money places, it, it will just disappear and you're like, where did it go? So that's the reason why I budget. Today is not the day before payday. It's just the day I was able to film this video for you. It is the beginning of July, so I would have gotten paid at the end of last month. So I'm going to pretend like I am budgeting for July in today's video and then that's how we're going to kind of talk about what I do when I get paid. Also, I don't get paid on the very last day or first day of the month. I get paid on the 26th of every month. When I budget for July, I wouldn't budget from the 1st of July to the 31st. I would budget from the 26th of June to the 25th of July because then when I get paid, that's when I count like a new month. In my head, it's just easier to budget like a month's worth of spending from like the first to last day of my pay rather than the first and last day of the month that's just a little personal tip for me it's easier to budget that way payday to payday rather than the calendar month i feel like i've been blabbering so much but i just wanted to explain why i budget and also um, how i'm gonna format this video a little bit more so let's move on to my notion budget template i'm gonna move to the side so that i can put my template right here so what i'm going to do now is show you my notion budget template which i've made myself if you're interested i can do like a plain template because the one the template i made already has like my fixed costs built into it but if you guys were interested i could do like a plain template and share it with you cool screen recording is going so as you can see here um under my 2023 dashboard i have my budget planning and then here is where I have the current month and then previous years. So like I mentioned earlier, I graduated at the middle of last year in July and I started being like fully financially on my own, right? Like the beginning of August, August, September, I didn't track everything I spent. It was really messy. It was like moving in. We had a lot of new things to get, but you can see here, I started doing that September to October. And this is where you can see I was trying to do like budget and say it was from that payday to payday rather than just calling it like 
in this example october's budget so that you'll see would have changed when i go into 2023 you can just see here i have the previous months and then january would be december 26th to january 25th so let's go back into 2022 you see this is when i first did my budget planning so i had here just like fixed income and also non like variable incomes as well on one list which i don't like doing that anymore and then i had like a big list of like going out shopping living life anything that wasn't like necessities but still variable costs i just did one large amount and i was just like okay this is how much you have you'll see i changed this to kind of manage myself and my spending a little bit more and then on my actual i just did a huge list and like i was adding the totals here and there as i went along this was really not a great system and so i've changed a lot for my notion of spending but i just wanted to show you kind of like where i started when you're starting out with dealing with budgeting and your personal finances don't think that's gonna be like amazing off the bat like you're gonna have little hurdles this year was a great way for me to get started this was about two months after i was on my own in terms of finances and it's not a bad place to start but it's definitely not something that was like sustainable for me it wasn't very clear and it's definitely not what i do today if I go into 2023, I've been budgeting now in this same format for, since January, so for six months now, and it's working extremely well for me. So I'm very thankful that I found a system of budgeting and I wanted to give it a few months before making a video like this to make sure that I'm comfortable with how I'm budgeting before I share it with you. And I can say, you can see here, I have enough months and so this system is really working for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new month here on Notion. This is where I created my template. So if I click new month, it will load just on this page here. And so it's gonna say month 20 whatever. So here is where I would go and I would change this to July 2023, beautiful. It has an amount here. Most months I like to spend between 16 to 1800 pounds and that includes everything like it includes my rents, my bills, my variable costs, anything that I'm spending that I'm not saving would be included in this total amount. So that's why I have here 1600. Of course, if I can, I like to stay on the lower end just so I can save more or invest more. Um, I do change this number right here depending on the month. And also would like to mention every month is not going to look the same so there are months where i can save a little bit more there and there are some months where i just can't save at all and i'm actually like having to take from my savings so that's why i love to budget and also save but back to my template i get sidetracked a lot the first little section here you see now i started dividing it are my fixed costs so these are like rent bills and subscriptions that i know are going to be coming out every month and the the amount doesn't change tfl this changes from very like fixed costs to variable because some months i'll buy the travel card which is this um 224.70 and other months if i'm gonna be away for a week or more in that month it doesn't make sense for me to get the travel card i will then just like tap in and tap out and then i change tfl to down here which is where i have my variable costs and i set like a budget for it so here you see i broke down the total of my fixed costs and then essentially i put this thing called left here so whatever i gave myself as a total amount minus my fixed cost is what i have left and that's where i can budget for my variable costs this specifically is the part where i consider my budgeting because that's when i look into my variable costs i see how much money i have left and i also i'll look ahead into the month to see what i can allow for myself and then what i have left here and then i also have a section here for my credit card statement and i don't use my credit card for a lot i got it recently this year just to kind of start building credit and getting used to using credit but i only really use it for things i would still use my debit card for so i know i have the money for it the way my credit card works is that it pays itself on a direct debit so i don't have to worry about paying it and then it pays itself like 100 percent um whenever i know i have a credit card statement that will be coming out as a direct debit of my account i budget that in here for that month so that i'm aware i have the money to pay for it i have a session called notes if there's anything in particular that i want to remember like why i'm spending more on something this month or why i'm saving more i could just add any random notes there and then actual is where you can see here it looks so much better than that first ever budget that i did which is a big list i have an actual table so here again i would go in and change this to july let's look caps and then 23 and then actual i would do this about every three to four days or every week i'll go through my banking app and then i'll add here what i've spent so here i'll put the amount so let's say i spent 15 pounds on groceries i'll put 15 and then the place usually it's little and then category is here so i have groceries this column i haven't really been using 
it was like something I was testing out but I just left it there but essentially this is what my template looks like so in terms of categories I have the same categories that I have up here in my variables and then I also have a few extra ones so unplanned big spend and unplanned income anything that is really above 20 pounds that I didn't plan for would count as unplanned big spend and again those things aren't like big amounts of money it's not like 100 200 pounds but whenever you're budgeting anything really above like 20 30 pounds feels like a big spend so i do have this here to kind of help me also when i go back to like reflect on my spending to see how much unplanned spending i had because obviously you want to avoid having unplanned spending the whole point of budgeting is to kind of know where your money is going to go before it leaves your account so I like having this as an option in my category to be able to look back on and reflect. And then unplanned income. I really use it, but I still have like an open Redbubble shop. But it's like I would get 20 pounds maybe every three to four months. And so just to be able to manage that, again, I have this little category called unplanned income where if I get anything extra, it could be like a return. I'm not going to go back into the month that I spent and then like deduct that spending if that makes sense. I'll just add it as income for when I receive it. Um, so anything like that would be unplanned income. And then travel, this is if I have any trips. So I'm going to be going to Germany next week. So anything that I spend there would be under travel. Yeah, everything else is just in the categories here. And if I have anything specific that I know I'm gonna be spending, like I went to the Harry Styles concert last month and so I know I was gonna be buying merch. So I put as a category here like Harry Styles merch because it didn't count as any of these on my variables. It was something extra that I wrote down specifically because I knew it was coming. That is my Notion template. Now we're going to get into my actual budgeting process. Okay, so for my budgeting process, don't believe I need my computer. I'm more so going to run down what I do in terms of my payday routine, which happens the day before I get paid. I get paid every 26th of the month or if the 26th is a Saturday or Sunday, I'll get paid the Friday before that. And so every 25th is when I call my budgeting day. So that's when I sit down, I check my bank account and see how much is pending for income. And then I'm going to do a little breakdown of what I know I have to save for and what I know I'm going to have to be spending on to before I do like my budgeting for different things. The reason why I like to budget the day before payday is because then as soon as my money comes in, whatever I know I have to save, I can put that away. And the reason why I say save is because I have like my main bank account, my main debit card is all on HSBC. And that's where I have like my savings account and my little like flexible saver and all of that. But I also have a Monzo account which I use for traveling and I also use that for short term savings. So I have like Monzo pots and then when I get paid, I'll put a little bit towards my different pots each month. So like I mentioned, I'm going to Germany next week and so I have a Germany pot where I put money because then once I get to Germany I can just transfer that from the Germany pot into my Monzo account and then when I use my Monzo card abroad it would just be money I had already saved for the trip and I don't have to worry about not having money for it. So the first thing I do when I see the total amount that I'm getting paid is okay I break down what I have to save so I'll put a little bit into like my emergency fund because I'm trying to get it to a certain amount and then after that I'm gonna stop because obviously the money is just sitting there so I don't want to have too much money there so I put some money into my emergency fund and then I'll put the money that I need into the specific like mongo pots and then I have like a little saver account where I'll put like 25 50 pounds each month which is like any leftover that I'm not budgeting for but that if I need for like the unexpected spending I can grab for instantly so that's the first thing I do when I see how much I'm gonna get paid is I make a list of all the savings that I need to do and what money I have to send where and then the next thing I do is I will see how much money I have left over from that and then I'll just deduct my fixed cost so then I have a nice amount that I can see which are for the budgeting part of my variable cost. But before I do like my groceries, um, pharmacy goods, going out, shopping, all of that, I will look at my um, credit card. If I have a credit card statement to pay that month, I will deduct that as well. And then if I know I have any particular spending for that month, like I gave the example earlier of the Harry Styles merch, I'll deduct from that as well. And then I have basically left a smaller amount of I know, okay, I have this much for groceries, this much for shopping, miscellaneous, 
takeout if I have enough money for takeout and all of that. I hope that this video brought you a little bit more clarity into how I budget and also may or may not have helped you figure out ways which you can budget for yourself. I'm just really passionate about this. I get generally very excited for my budgeting day more than I do for the actual pay date because I just love to be able to go and be like, okay, how can I manage my personal finance and see all of this? And I just also really get excited when I'm able to like reach my savings goal and buy things that I want for myself. So budgeting just really helps me feel like I am doing the right thing with my money I feel comfortable about my spending and I'm never really like panicked about not having money it's not that I'm earning a lot of money but because I can save first and then spend and also know roughly how much I have to spend then it just allows me to not be so careless about my money you do what you want and it's your life so some people I know can actually be like really okay even not earning a lot of money to just spend and they're like good at just kind of knowing what is too much and what isn't but that doesn't work for me i feel like if i didn't budget i'd just be spending way more on like things that i didn't need or like not saving for things that i wanted and that just wouldn't be as happy with where i am today with my money that brings us to the end of today's video i hope that you enjoyed and i will see you on my next one don't forget that i do upload what i spend every single month on this channel first end of the month you can see what i spent on the previous month so do stick around for that if you're into more like finance budgeting related videos and i'll see you in my next one bye